Mr. Bennett, you were sued for defamation. You were the op-ed page for the New York Times. Uh, I'm You're on video admitting admitting that you made an admission of a false claim with with uh, a Republican political action committee. You were deposed. We've obtained a videotape of your deposition. We did a very poor job, I did, of trying to express the thought that created an inference for readers that there was a causal link between political incitement and the shooting of Gabby Giffords. I didn't you admit to anything. See this? Okay. We did a very poor job, I did, and I'm ultimately responsible for the journalism that we produced. You admitted under oath you did a poor job. Now, what's remarkable about this videotape deposition is that, do you know what this is? It's a bullseye. Under oath, you denied that this was a target. Do you consider this map to be political incitement? In the sense I was using the term that day in our editorial, yeah, I do. I just think it's using violent imagery. I, I read those as gun sites. You turn to the second page of this exhibit, do you consider that to be political incitement? Those don't look like gun sites to me. What, what do you consider the symbols on the map in Exhibit 217 to be? I, I don't know what they're meant to represent. Do they are look they like bullseyes? Be, are they? No, now that you say that, yeah, I could see that. What are bullseyes used for? Targeting. Target practice. With weapons? Yeah. My question to you is, do you have any advice for other people being deposed to the New York Times so they don't look like fools? And there you have it, James Bennett of the New York Times. We have just confronted Mr. Bennett. He denied saying what he said under oath. This is the first in a series of videotaped depositions we intend to release. Project Veritas boldly going where no one has gone before. The doorsteps of the New York Times editors themselves. Stay tuned.